in the last session we had we completed already string concept even almost around 15 to sir almost around 10 10 small small applications we covered already so everyone can able to understand very clearly about that sir correct okay next even we covered we just started about the immutability concept also okay i mean list concept also right sir can you please tell what is the speciality of list list data structure anyone can you please guide what is, sir list immediately you have to get two points in your mind duplicates are allowed or not allowed duplicates are allowed or not allowed duplicates duplicates are allowed insertion order preserved correct or not duplicates are allowed insertion order preserved next everything we have to access everything we have to access by using index index will play very important role in the case of list it may be java list or it may be python list also remember that sir okay sir now i'm ready to discuss about i'm ready to discuss about the sir the remaining important things right okay here how you can access how you can able to access elements elements of the list do you know by using index we can access or by using slice operator you can able to access yes we covered already in the last sessions very clearly sir next list versus immutability also we discussed sir list versus immutability have you remembered so list objects are immutable uh, sorry mutable list objects are mutable once we create a list object we are allowed to perform any changes we are allowed to perform any changes in that object that thing is by default considered as mutability remember okay so but uh, in the after completing this list we require to talk about the tuple sir we require to talk about tuple tuple concept that tuple concept sir is the mutable remember uh, sir immutable list is uh, mutable tuple is immutable that thing we will discuss because very important question what is the difference between list and the tuple anyone can you please tell sir at very top level we will discuss anyway in detail don't worry about that what is the very top level difference please inject this point in your mind okay list is list is uh, mutable are you getting list is mutable once we create a list object we can allow to add something remove something such a type of possibility is there but uh, what about uh, sir tuple sir tuple is tuple tuple is uh, okay immutable tuple tuple is immutable remember this one once we create a tuple object we are not allowed to change its content the content is always fixed sir such a type of thing is nothing but immutability okay tuple is immutable please keep that point in your mind okay sir what is the list versus a set very dangerous very important point sir this point also very important for the entire room sir list versus tuple list versus tuple list versus set what is the difference between list and set what is the difference between list and tuple sir list and tuple both are same only difference is immutable sorry mutable and immutable list is mutable tuple is immutable list and set both are the same only difference is in the case of list order will be preserved duplicates are allowed but in the case of set order won't be preserved duplicates are not allowed remember that once order is not there once order is not there index of slice operator such type of stories are not applicable for the set observe please keep these points in advance in your mind very very important sir in the case of list order is preserved by using index duplicate objects you can able to pre, you can able to differentiate by using index but in the case of set duplicates are duplicates are not allowed order is not preserved that's why index index such a type of story not applicable for the set that story is applicable only for the list and the tuple remember okay but uh, anyway just uh, while even while covering the next topics i will discuss again and again so that uh, it's very important for the entire room that's why you people can able to remember very easily right sir now i want to traverse uh, elements of a list sir okay i want to, i want to traverse what is the traversal okay just i want to traverse uh, elements of a list what is the what is the option sir here just to take a bit very special care uh, traversing okay traversing elements of a list elements elements of a list sir traversing elements of a list so you have to access elements one by one one by one 
the sequential axis of each element in the list is called a traversal are getting at your chain root somewhere in the data structures concept you people may heard uh, in order traversal pre order traversal post order traversal like somewhere we may in our data structures concept sir anyway we are not going to talk about all those things but a traversal means uh, can you please access each and every element of the list this is about my requ requirement right how you can able to do that what is the what is the way sir you can access by using while loop or by using for loop or by using while loop by using for loop any any way there is no there is no problem at all sir multiple suppose i have one list is there sir assume that i have one one list list is there okay sir just uh, let me take sir i have one one list is there sir my list is l is equal to l is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 comma 50 is there sir i want to access each and every element of the list one by one one by one what is the way sir i is equal to zero i is equal to zero while i is less than l e n of s are you getting while i is less than l e n of l l l l means the number of elements right length of l means the number of elements while i is less than sir just print print l of i sir can you please print l of i l of i sir i is equal to i plus 2 are you getting i is equal to i plus 1 just observe that i is equal to i plus 1 that's all if i can take this a small loop do you know it is going to print each and every element one by one one by one this is the way sir have a look once let me execute this code let me execute this code sir py test dot py are you getting 10 20 30 10 20 30 40 50 by default we are going to get everyone can able to understand right 10 20 30 40 50 by default we are going to get okay make make sure sir you people should be aware sir i don't want while loop i don't want while loop i want to use for loop can you please guide please respond can you please guide how i can able to access by using for loop sir for loop is the more easy more easy because for each element present in the list for each element present in the list directly simple sir for for each element x in l can you please print up x can you please print up x we are not required access by using index we are not required access by using index because for each loop is always value based value based that's why 10 20 30 by default we are going to get suppose my requirement is sir i want to display i want to display only even numbers i want to display only even numbers only even numbers because anyway in our list all are even numbers only 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 like this i'm taking sir so now my target is l is equal to 0 1 2 3 and so on 10 10 itself is there sir now my my target here is i want to print i want to print only even numbers right what i have to do man so for x in l for x in l if x percentage 2 is equal to 0 are you getting sir for x percentage 2 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 then automatically print of x otherwise you can ignore otherwise you can ignore then automatically what output by default we are going to get only even numbers by default we are going to get clear are you in a position to understand right okay so devendra kumar step two and so on yes it is applicable but uh, assume that if if it is not the sequence of elements uh, suppose year 11 is there uh, year 11 is there next and after that year 23 is there next and after that year 24 is there then automatically step these kind of things won't work that's why this is the generalized approach whatever elements are there in this list uh, yes sir, this rule is by default applicable if it's the sequence of numbers uh, yes sir yes sir. slice operator slice operator next step value we can able to do that devendra kumar are you able to understand purdvi okay well sir now observe happily sir whatever even numbers are there by default we are we are going to get sir this is suppose my element is boss can you please use for loop only can you please use for loop only for loop only but uh, print uh, every element uh, with the positive index and a negative index are you getting print every element with the positive index and a negative index this is about my my requirement right sir suppose sir here assume that assume that a is there this is the first element 
B is there, second element. Sir, next uh, C is there, third element. Next uh, D is there, fourth element. Next uh, E is there, okay, fifth element. Are you getting that? L is equal to A, B, C, D, E. Like this we have, okay? A, B, C, D, E. Itself is nothing but we have, sir. This is about my, my requirement. Now my requirement is, can you please print every element with a positive index and the negative index, sir? A is available at positive index zero and at negative index. Like this, you have to tell. Somewhere in the case of string concept, I I hope I covered. String concept, I hope I covered already. Have you remembered, right? Okay, sir. Suppose assume assume that assume that, sir. Here, just the one minute, please. Let me open the paint so that you people can able to understand very easily, sir. Sir, here I'm taking just the observe that, sir. A, B, C, D, E is there. A, B, C, D, E by default it is there, sir. Assume that. Assume, assume that. Okay, sir. A, B, C, D, E by default it is there, sir. Now take a bit special care because positive index and negative index you have to understand very easily, sir. You require to understand very easily. A, B, C. And then D, E by default there. Okay, like, sir, this is A, itself is A, B, okay, A, B, C, D, E is there. Now, what is the positive index? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. What is the negative index, right? Negative index, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Are you getting minus 1, minus, and so on. Now, take a bit very special care. I is equal to zero sir positive index is always incremented now no problem but uh, for this element how i can get a negative index negative index can i use the word i minus length of l or not can you please tell yes man somewhere we covered in the case of string concept already i covered how many people remember i don't know sir i minus length of l i minus length of l zero minus five correct 1 minus 5 minus 4, 2 minus 5 minus 3, 3 minus uh, 5 minus 2, like it's going to come. Now, you can able to tell very easily the code. Can you please guide? I forgot. Can you please guide? I is equal to 0. I itself is equal to 0. Sir, now L, uh, I is equal to 0, sir. Now, what I have to take here is, okay, for, for here, just let me take length. L E N is equal to L E N is equal to so length of length of L no problem at all L E N I got so it is the length sir length L E N is equal to now for I in for I in length for I in range of length are you getting for I in range of length length so here what is the length value can you please tell five five for i in range of 5 means so 0 to 4. 0 to 4. So i value is always from 0 to 4. Like this, right? 0 to 4. Like now, what I have to take here is print of, print of, sir, L of i is available. Sir, is available. Available. Yet positive index. Yet positive index. Uh, is available yet a positive index uh, and the yet a negative index uh, and the yet a negative negative index uh, okay instead of words too lengthy with positive index uh, and the yet a negative index uh, negative index uh, like uh, like this but anyway it is the string we require to fill each and every element uh, with the format method you know right sir all these things are not new things for you people right okay sir now can you please tell so first so on so element how i can access element sir l of i l of i okay element first one so if it is the i is equal to zero l of zero means a a is available yet index yet positive index what is the positive index value i sir i comma sir and yet a negative index how you can find a negative index right i minus l e n okay like uh, you people should aware that's all simple logic that's all simple simple logic right you people can able to use i hope everyone in the session can able to understand this code i your respond man everyone in this session 
can you can you able to understand this code what there inside small chota concept okay now for i in range of len okay like uh, sir is available at positive index and yet negative index like this we are going to take sir okay now let me execute this code okay and then can i require to sir increment i value no because this is the for loop automatically i value will go to the next level we are not required to increment sir now have a look once let me execute this code so a is available at positive index 0 and the negative index minus 5 b is available at a 1 minus 4 2 minus 3 3 minus 2 4 minus 1 yes for a fact sir are you able to get are you able to see a is available at 0 minus 5 1 minus 4 2 minus 3 3 minus 2 4 minus 1 itself is nothing but this is the output by default we are going to get clear everyone can able to understand right okay so that's all small small coding things just a familiar with the uh, these these kind of things yeah if you you can print l directly if you print l all the elements by default we are going to get but my intention is yes you can print avinash if you print a b c d e like that we are going to get yes at last uh, i'm printing l directly l directly what is the output by default we are going to get can you please observe that this is the result of l you can print no problem at all clear any explanation is required <coughs> okay that's all now sir anyway these are normal things whatever we covered in string concept all those things just we are repeating again and again beyond that nothing sir sir now what is the next one we have to discuss uh avinash not getting like cash code what it means what you are expecting so it is not getting it is not getting element at the hash code or something like that. correct right is your doubt avinash print object hash code value of the list uh, can we print object the hash code value object hash code value of list yes there is some way there is some way hash code like some function is there avinash we will discuss maybe in the whoops concept somewhere it will come yes i hope object class hash code method even in python also it is available i hope we will okay sir now what is the next concept we we will discuss right important the functions of list sir very important make sure sir on the list object what functions we can able to apply important functions of list list sir i want to i want to apply this one important functions of list okay very simple sir sir i want to get the information to get the information about list i want to get the information about list sir just observe that uh, sir what are various sir? i want to access what is the what is the first one length i already i used this length function remember length function what is going to return sir number of number of elements present in the list if you want to know number of elements present in the list then we require to use a length function any example is required yo any example is required length function just now in the previous example we use it next uh, count count uh, answer method is there count method is there what the meaning of count method somewhere even in the case of string also we use this method have you remembered yes good even in the case of string also we use this method sir suppose i'm taking l is equal to 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 uh, next time after that 3 3 3 okay 4 4 something like is there sir sir now my question is are one is available how many times how many times can you please tell one is available how many times four times right three is available how many times three times sir four is available two times right are getting two times sir i want to know the specified element how many times it is how many how many number of times it is available in the list the specified element how many number of times it is available in the list i want to know sir what is the way l is equal to sir just observe that sir print of l dot count of sir one l dot count of one one so l dot the count of one one how many times it is available four times sir now observe now observe four is the answer four is the answer similarly sir i want to check uh, three available how many times three times four how many times available sir two times four how many times it's available sir two times by default 
player for all of it. So each character, I mean specified character, specified object, how many times it is available, if you want to know, then happily we can go for count the method. Length method is the different, count method is the different. Length means total how many elements are there. Count means each element, the, sir, element present how many times. This is about that. Next, we have index function is also there, sir. Index, index function is also there. What is the purpose of this, this index function? Take, take a bit very, very special case, sir. What is the purpose? Return index of first occurrence of specified element. Return index of first occurrence of specified element, sir. Remember this one. So, n dot index of, l dot index of 1. So, l dot index of, index of 1, assume that, was in this l, 1, 1 occurs first time at what index? First time at what index? Like this, right? So, first occurrence, what is that? Okay, like, suppose if the specified element is not available, not available, immediately we are going to get value error. Remember that. Then immediately we are going to get value error. That's why. So before using index meta, compulsory we have to check. Compulsory we require to check. Boss, this uh, sir element is already available or not. If the specified element is not already available, then you will get the value error. Man. Observe that. Observe this. Sir, L dot index of 1. Perfect. L dot index of 1. L dot index of 1. Then happily it's going to tell boss 1 is available at 1th index first time. Sir, L dot index of 4, sir. If L dot index of 4, I'm taking L dot index of 4. Sir, can you please tell 4 available first time? Here, maybe a bigger index is going to come, sir. So, 8th index is coming. Correct. 8th index is coming, sir. Now, my, my requirement is, sir, I want to check 9. 9. Can you please tell 9 index, sir, is it available or not? Are 9 index available or not available? Uh, sorry, I mean 9th element, 9th value, 9 value available or not? No, not available immediately. Can you please scratch check, man? Value error. Eight, nah, 9 is not there in the list. Value error. 9 is not there in the list. Everyone can able to understand. Everyone can able to understand. Not required to keep much explanation about this terminology, right? Clear? Yes? Any doubt about this one? Okay? So that's all. These are the things what you people should be very clearly right. Okay. L is equal to L dot index of 9. Okay. Like this. But make sure, sir, before checking, before checking, okay, compulsory, compulsory, you have to, compulsory, you have to check whether this element is already available or not. If you are not going to check element is already available, huh, then if it is not already available, then you may get a error. Remember that value error. That's why it is not recommended. Yeah. There are some small, small doubts are there, sir. Let me clarify that. Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, Prudhvi, uh, in that case, count comes to risk. Uh, count comes to risk means I didn't get you. Can you please? Prudhvi, what it means? Sir, first time, where this, this one available, that particular index by default we are going to get. Yeah. If count is not equal to 0, then only check in this. Yes, excellent. Excellent. Good. That is also one approach. That's also one approach. Or otherwise, even you can use uh, uh, membership operator also. Membership operator also. Correct. Even membership operator also you can. If it is there, if it is there, then only you can you can check. Otherwise, sir, don't use index method. Yeah, I will, I will show that. Uh, next, any other? If we want to find the uh, second second occurrence of three, uh, Nandaki sure. So by default, index method always going to return the index of first occurrence. Sir, I want to find second occurrence. I want to find third occurrence. Then automatically we require to write the code explicitly. Nandaki sure. Are you able to get right? Yes, we have to write the code explicitly, but the default method always going to return index of first occurrence only. Index of first occurrence only. Remember that. Okay. Next. Yeah. Next. Sir, index return the value, value or index. Index method always going to return the index only. 
but it is not going to return value you because you are specifying value man this is the value i'm specifying the value now i'm talking what is the index of this value index method is always going to return index only hello are you able to understand yeah okay now sir how you can use membership operator or how you can use count operator like just i will show sir sir prudvi and srivani like uh, they 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 told okay sir the requirement is yes what is the way how you can check sir i'm taking enter enter some number assume that here numbers are available only numbers are available sir that's why enter some number n is equal to int of int of input of input of enter 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 value enter value to find the index enter value to find the index like this i'm taking sir two approaches are there two approaches are there sir approach number one count if n n sorry l dot count of n if l dot count of n can you please tell here take a bit very special case sir if l dot count of n is uh, greater than zero if it is a greater than zero oh element is available or not please respond element is available or not yes element is not available greater than zero or not equal to zero both the things are same no problem at all devendra kumar anything you can use greater than zero count is always going to return how many times it is available print of print of sir element print of element element available yet the index element available yet the index sir what is the index right what is the what is the index so what is uh, i uh, here just let me take print that element also n n means uh, specified elements sir uh, element available yet the index uh, sir l dot index of l dot index of sir n l dot index of n sir okay good now else sir else so our count is not so print print sir n n is not available okay like this let me cross check this is one solution this is one way by using count method i can able to use so that i can prevent the value error okay have a look once matter of two minutes enter some value to find index three sir three element available yet index five yes sir three element is available yet index of five sir now i'm talking about six sir six six element available yet 11th index oh 11th index means almost last sir can you please search for element seven can you please search for element seven seven is not available perfect ayo srivani devendra kumar working right yes i hope this is this is the what we call solution whatever you told next up, there is one more thing is there instead of using function or method there is one more thing is there one more one more thing is there what i will take sir what i will take if if n in l <laughs> are you getting right if n in l that's our membership operator membership operator if n in l boss this n is already there in l then only you can do that then only you can do that okay now have you observed enter sir 9 i want 9 is not available sir i want 5 i want 5 five element is available at index yes you can use count method you can use membership operator no problem at all clear ayo no response are you able to understand right but still if you are too much too good programmer then you can use exception any mechanism also already we are the kings in that area right <laughs> we are already kings in that area right yes very simple try very simple try try then print sir n element is available yet sir now accept 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 sir if you are getting which error sir can you can you spell out value error if you are getting value error error sorry n is not available <laughs> it is also simple terminology it's also simple terminology right sir now can you please uh, sir not uh, here five 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 is available at a tenth index sir nine i'm searching nine is not available directly it's going to tell yes multiple styles okay based on our requirement you can use any style no problem at all sir up to this three methods or functions we covered sir what is the first one 
two important functions i want to access access to get the information to get the information about list to get the information about list these are the three methods what we have remember that what is the first one length what is the second one count what is the third one index clear right length means number of elements present inside list count means count count means can i can spell out sir length means number of elements present in the list count itself is the number of occurrences of each element next and after that index means index means what is that index right the index of first occurrence of specified element but if the specified element is not available then we will get value error take a bit special care while using that case right okay next uh, sir i want to manipulate list elements i want i want to manipulate i want to manipulate list elements right so to manipulate list the elements of the list how you can able to use okay manipulating what is the meaning of manipulating sir changing the content manipulating list elements what what methods are available right okay take a bit very special case sir sir append 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 the method regarding what the first one sir append append method very simple what is the purpose of append method to add the an element to the list to add an element to the list add add an element to the list we can use append method the people who are coming from java background java background they know add method add method i want to add an element to our collection then automatically like here append is the method we are going to use right okay sir now what is the way what is the what is the way sir i'm taking l is equal to l is equal to simple l dot l dot append of l dot append of okay here just the sunny i'm adding sir l dot append of sunny next uh, sir l dot append of sir bunny l dot append of okay chini okay like chini i'm adding l dot append of winny i'm adding are you getting that winny i'm adding sir print of l sir print of l have you observed what the output by default you are going to get sunny bunny chini winny like you are going to get are you getting right so i created empty list i created empty list now i can able to add the elements present in that list is it possible or not are can you please spell out man is it possible or not yes so what is the purpose of append method to add an element to the list we can go for append method right suppose my requirement is suppose my my requirement is yes so uh, yeah suppose my my requirement is i want to add the all elements to the list up to 100 i want to add all elements to the list up to up to 100 up to 100 which are divisible by 10 this is about my requirement right can you please add all elements to the list up to 100 which are divisible by 10 which are divisible by 10 this is about my requirement right how you can able to do that l is equal to sir for for x is equal to for i in range of 101 for i in range of 101 i want to add elements which are divisible by 10 if i i percentage 10 <coughs> sorry i percentage 10 is equal to 0 sir if the number divisible by 10 then only l dot append of i value otherwise ignore otherwise you are not required to do anything just the print of l sir are you getting print of l there 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 only clear for all of it so i want to add i want to add sir elements to the list which are divisible by 10 this is the function this is the method what we require to use clear for the way we will we will come to that point don't worry about that okay sir not required to give much explanation this is very simple sir now my second one legend if i call first time i am calling append method legend 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 a bit carefully sir first time i am calling append method where this one will be added yeah the first element and then i call append method where this element will be added can you please tell after sunny this element next where so always this element is always going to add at last correct or not last 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 like a continuation so first inserted element here next i want to insert here next i want to insert here next i want to insert by default every element is always going to add at the end or not 
yes up to that whatever n is there there only it is going to yes sir good now my requirement is take very very special care sir take a bit very very special care about this one now my requirement is hey, don't add at the end don't add at the end can you please insert in the middle can you please insert i will specify the location can you please insert in the middle yes how you can able to do that for that insert in the function we have to take care sir insert the means yet your specified location i will insert but if you are not specifying any location by default i will add at last which is nothing but append method remember that sir sir what is the difference between append and insert observe the difference sir now i am taking l is equal to l is equal to sir 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 is there sir l is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 is there n dot insert of n dot insert of bus can you please insert a double eight double eight can you please insert a double eight double eight where you have to insert in the one th index position are you getting in the one th index position can you please insert the can you please insert the okay like this can you please insert like this then can you please print of l what is the answer by default you are going to get can you please guess huh can you please guess respond correct correct what is the answer sir one one zero at the index as it is and the yet the one th index uh, double eight double eight will come double eight double eight next remaining elements are same remaining elements are same two comma three comma four comma five that's all let me execute this code akash error why man special answer i'm seeing yeah yeah am i doing any mistake akash yes List is mutable. Mutable is nothing but changeable. Akash, I didn't get you. Why you are expecting error? Yeah, perfect. It's going to be acceptable. No problem at all. No problem at all. No, insert operation means you are not deleting. You are not asking to replace. Are you getting? You are asking to insert. Boss, can you please insert this in the middle? Can you please adjust this element in the middle? Okay, like you, Nanda Kishore, you are not asking about, you are not, you are not asking about, okay, replacement. If you want replacement, for that some functionality is available. What's your requirement? Do you want to insert or do you want to replace? Based on that, the corresponding method you require to call. Now this method meant for insert operation, but not replacement. Okay, now happily the corresponding output is going to get right. So for the, for the list, sir, append method is there insert method is also there what is the difference between append and insert append method always going to add the element at last insert method always going to element always going to insert the element at the specified position remember clear yes okay now there is one small twist is there <laughs> let me explain that there is one small small twist is there sir listen a bit very carefully uh, all the people sir don't sleep anyone legend this point a bit carefully a bit dangerous point i'm going to tell small loophole sir what is my point is one two three four five is there sir can you please tell what are what is the positive index and what is the negative index one two three four five this is about my list of elements sir. okay well this is my list right sir what is the what is the available indexes anyone can you please guess 0 1 2 3 and then 4 0 to 4 is my available minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 okay like now my question is hey, can you please insert l dot insert l dot insert ah can you please insert the yet the 30th index <laughs> yet the 30th index Double eight, double eight. <laughs> this is about I'm asking, sir. Hey, can you please answer double eight, double eight at 30 index? 30 index, sir. Can you please tell if the 30 index is available or not available? Respond, man. 30 index is available or not available? Not available. If it is not available, how you can? It is not available. Then how you can answer? Are you getting? Now you can, how you can answer? Like, yeah. Remember, next. L done insert of. Can you please answer? 
at the minus 10th index triple eight double eight double eight minus 10th index double eight double eight array minus 10th index is not there man remember if you are specifying okay in this before this before the first element okay if you are specifying greater than last index are you getting right before first index greater than last index then in this case we never going to get error this double eight double eight by default will be added at last <clears throat> in this case double eight double eight is going to add at the beginning you never going to get the error sir remember this one you never going to get the error okay observe that let me repeat again sir let me repeat again observe that a bit carefully sir so if the specified index greater than max index if the specified index greater than max index max index then the element will be inserted at last position if the specified index smaller than minimum index then element will be inserted at the first position okay like sir can you please insert the can you please insert the double eight double eight at the 30th the position wow wonderful man <laughs> observe the output we are going to get yes man where it is added sixth index only i mean zero one two three four five means fifth index only it is added sir the element will be added at last remember okay like suppose my requirement is can you please insert double seven double seven get a minus 30 index <laughs> get a minus 30 index like this can you please guess what is the output we are going to get now please please respond what is the output we are going to get now whether you are listening or not i want to i want to aware yeah so what is the what is the uh what is the output by default we are going to get sir yes double seven double seven comma one comma two comma three comma four comma five comma double eight double eight this is the output by default we are going to get perfect okay like now have a look once let me execute this code double seven double seven double seven double seven one two three four five double eight double eight itself is the answer by default we are going to get sir clear any doubt okay if you give minus one if you give minus one minus one means what minus one index minus one index yeah minus one index is already available yet minus one index position it is going to place <clears throat> after adding what the index normal this value will become zero index this value will become maybe zero one two three four five six index it is never going to consider this 30 and the minus 30 this 30 and the minus 30 it's never never going to consider remember clear any doubt so what is the difference between insert and append append means always going to add at last insert means yet the specified location by default it's going to be added if the specified location is not available if it is greater than max index at last it will be added if it is less than min index then at the beginning it will be added so insert method never going to raise any error remember clear <coughs> okay now next method i want to take uh, sir there is one person i'm unable to see your name uh, mostly i hope priyanka i'm not sure uh, can you please uh, uh, who is that some i'm unable to see the name please log out and log in again because if you are asking some doubt how i can recognize you yeah now just to take a bit special care what is the next thing i have to discuss right what is the what is the next one i have to talk about that here there is one more function is there sir append and insert is very clear man not required you are already kings in that area <laughs> okay now third one extend extend sir extend function is there what is the meaning of extend function okay very simple sir suppose i have already two lists are there l1 is there l2 is there sir l1 contain 10 elements sir. l1 contain 10 elements sir. l2 contain five elements are there all five elements present inside l2 can you please add to l1 are you getting let me repeat again all elements present inside l2 can you please add to l1 add to l1 l1 dot extend of l2 can you please uh, extend this l1 with the elements of l2 are you getting if you print if you print l1 how many elements by default will be there sir 
please respond if l1 contain 10 l2 contain 5 if i print l1 how many elements by default will be there 15 elements by default will be there remember that 15 elements by default will be there sir clear okay that is the purpose of extend the function remember okay sir very very simple let me go for let me go for a small chota example you may you may get much clarity sir here i have order one is there sir order one is there order one is there sir what is my order one is chicken chicken next and after the mutton okay and after the fish is there fish is there sir how many non vegetarians are there in our class Ayyo. how many vegetarians are there <laughs> this number is a bit uh, <laughs> less how many vegetarians are there sagar vijaya vegetarians vegetarians and kishore are you vegetarian vishnu good man very few very few members obviously sir what about myself oh full so if i'm not having the peace then i can't eat lunch or dinner <laughs> pure non-vegetarian man myself okay sir remember very recently i met one doctor i met one one doctor sir, sir what about uh, uh, any precautions are required regarding my health then that person told you very carefully observe all non-vegetarians chicken mutton fish and the next level also by default there uh, <laughs> yes prudvi uh, you are telugu okay uh, uh, correct <laughs> in Telugu. Okay, now observe that <clears throat> chicken, mutton, fish. Like uh, I met them. then automatically the doctor suggested, okay, sir, if you want to eat non veg highest recommendation better to go for better to have some pity and better to choose small, small things. Small, small things is not even highest recommendation fish. If the fish is not available okay next the level chicken chicken if the chicken is not available better to go for better to go for okay vegetarian only don't go for next level animals are you getting if you are going for next level next level n number of problems will come n number of problems will come for your health if you want to be forever happy then automatically just strict to fish otherwise in the worst scenario chicken mutton next and after that next level don't go for that so don't go for that that's why fish should be at a zero at the index chicken should be next index <laughs> okay uh, uh, remember that the order is very important okay next level we should not do anything man next level we should not do anything okay remember if you are pure vesa then no question at all enjoy okay <laughs> fish chicken and then mutton remember okay next uh, sir just a small small changes in our uh so uh, that's what uh vijaya b4 these kind of next level things are not recommended not recommended at all yeah anyway it's highly recommended at least one egg per day it's a doctor's suggestion only right next one more thing you people should be aware sir uh if you want if you want very healthy next i met one of my uh, my brother my own brother okay yeah uh, itself is uh, my my brother itself is uh, doctor okay uh, very recent time uh, uh, can you please just uh, uh, i want uh, a bit gastric uh, this kind of problem it seems to be so like i, I asked then automatically can you please guide some good uh, diet uh, in what way i have to take like then immediately my my brother own brother my brother suggested anna uh, highly recommended breakfast lunch dinner are you getting that especially Remember this point, sir. Most healthy, healthy conclusion. One minute only. I won't take much time. Don't worry. Only one minute conclusion. Highly recommended. What is the first point is? Uh, you are going to eat breakfast, right? First morning, morning, breakfast. Next, uh, afternoon, lunch. Next, night, uh, dinner. In the middle, maybe snacks. Uh, very rare. Tea, snacks, uh, these kind of things. A bit rare these days. Sir. But make sure, sir. Breakfast. Uh, Minimum, Anna, if you are going to eat idli, how many you are going to take? He asked me. Are uh, three or four like no, 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 no. Better to go for at least 10 idlis. <laughs> are you getting better to go for at least 10? 10. If you are going to eat uh, dosia, 
those how many you are going to eat are two or three like two two max two ra no 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 better to go for five or six sir. heavy breakfast heavy breakfast highly recommended sir heavy breakfast next uh, he asked me lunch at what time you are going for lunch lunch is yeah yeah uh, lunch yeah, at what time you are going to take lunch do you know afternoon one or one thirty two o'clock like then automatically anna take a bit uh, so medium medium lunch medium medium lunch don't take heavy heavy lunch heavy breakfast already completed lunch is a bit next time after that what about dinner hey dinner full biryani full family members and so on like i told anna not good not good night dinner should be as less as possible as less as possible if you are going to maintain this rule then automatically you never going to get any health problem anna please follow that like uh, my my own brother suggested sir srivani is telling excellent breakfast like a king lunch like a queen dinner like very poor are you getting right the persons who are going to follow this type of healthy habit then automatically big big stomachs cholesterol bp sugar these kind of things by default won't come happiest life by default will be there at the age of 60 also you will like uh, you will be like a hero only <laughs> yeah remember man getting okay well sir come back order one fish chicken mutton like sir now order two i'm taking sir sir order two <coughs> what is my second order is sir i'm taking okay fish is there then rc must be required or otherwise if chicken is there then kf must be required next time after that mutton sir kvo must be required kvo must be required something like this i'm taking sir legend so how many list objects are there can you please tell respond man why you are silent how many list objects are there two list objects are there sir okay so two two list objects are there now my requirement is now my requirement is sir i want i want sir add all the items present inside order 2 to the order 1 only what is the way sir what is the way sir order 1 dot ah uh, i forgot i forgot the name i forgot the method name can you please tell order one dot ayyo i forgot the name extend or extends extend or extends amit extend extend order two order two okay like now print a uh, order one print of order one all elements uh, present inside order two by default will be added to order one are you able to understand right all elements present inside order 2 by default will be added to order 1 like this right now take a bit very special case sir fish chicken mutton by default will be there and the rc kf and kvo also any doubt any doubt about this extend function okay that's all this is about yeah order 2 what about order 2 order 2 is the same because i'm not changing anything in the order 2 Order two still there. Order two contain only that items only. Yes, observe that order two is as it is. Okay, this is something like uh, correct, correct. In Java, yard all method is there. Okay, L one dot yard all, L one dot yard all correct. It is the it is something like yard all. Can you please yard all elements present inside order two to order one? But here we are using the word extend the function. Okay, like so. Now these three methods. to yard elements okay append insert extend to yard elements okay sir what about remove elements what about remove elements i want to use right we can use uh, sir remove remove is the function sir remove remove is the method next uh, we can use a remove function to remove specified item from the list if the item present multiple times then only first occurrence by default will be removed sir remember the sir only first occurrence by default will be removed remember that sir now i have one small doubt is it possible to add multiple values directly sir here uh, to which method prudhvi apana method you are asking sir prudhvi is asking sir i want to add multiple values i want to add multiple values extend sir extend i hope it is possible extend let me take Order two, order two, order two. Like three times I'm taking, sir. Observe that. Order two, order two, order two. Three times I'm taking. Let me print. I hope. Let me crunch. I'm not sure. Multiple, multiple lists. 
i mean multiple values or you are asking about multiple lists multiple values right you are asking multiple values you are asking right ah here see this one so he is asking is it possible to yeah multiple values directly no 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 not possible not possible because extend is always expecting some sequence i hope some sequence i hope okay now observe that takes uh, only one argument but you are providing two argument it is going to take only one argument you are providing two compulsory these things should be within the list or maybe sequence also i hope clear right okay that's all now remove function sir take a bit very special care very very special care sir so to remove the element to remove the element present in the list sir if the specified element occurs multiple times multiple times then automatically first element first element first time occurrence first element by default will be removed sir assume that assume that sir l is equal to l is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 10 comma 30 l is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 10 comma 30 sir this is about my my requirement right sir i want to remove l the remove remove of 10 can you please tell which 10 by default will be removed which 10 by default will be removed sir first first time 10 first 10 will be removed now let me print that l let me print that l what is the output by default you are going to get sir have you observed 20 10 30 20 10 30 by default we are going to get only this one because this 10 by default will be removed next and after that there is one small twist is there sir okay what is that small twist yeah sridhar it is going to remove the element first occurrence by default will be removed sridhar first occurrence by default will be removed observe that if the specified element not already available then we will get value error remember so that's why before using this remove method before using this remove method first we have to check whether the specified element is already available or not suppose i want to remove 50 but 50 is not available immediately you are going to get immediately you are going to get are getting value error value error x is not in the list are getting value error x is not in the list then you can use count method or otherwise you can use membership operator or try accept any kind of situation any kind of thing you can able to use clear okay next uh, one more function is there sir a bit dangerous function i'm ready to explain take very very special care sir what is that function is pop pop is the function sir remove function any doubt remove function any doubt to remove to remove so first time when this one is going to be there that element only will be removed yes to remove that element maybe it may identify it may use internally index method something like that. yes amit maybe maybe ma'am what is the problem just uh, can you please remove can you please remove this 10 can you please remove 10 so which which element by default will be removed sir sir 10 is available how many times two times sir. two times here it is there here also it is there now first time 10 where it is there it will be removed remember that it will be removed sir okay like uh, next uh, next uh, sir i don't want to remove I, I i want to sir remove some 40 40 is not there in the list then immediately you are going to get value error that's why before using value before getting value error so what you have to use better to use count method membership operator or try except somewhere we covered already in the case of uh, somewhere we we used already this one in the case of index method okay that's all next uh, there are some small small doubts right uh, one minute one minute yeah uh, if you want to remove an element at particular index, yes, please wait, Srivani, we will talk about that. Sir, I want to remove second element. Akash, by default, remove method applicable, applicable to remove the first occurrence only. Second occurrence, if you want to remove, what you have to do is, you require to write code explicitly. Sometimes, uh, ready-made methods uh, can provide support up to certain level. It may not meet our requirement. Then we have to write extra code, remember. Next performance wise, which one will you suggest between count in or try? 
so my suggestion is always in operator my suggestion or otherwise try accept is highly recommended for the way what the reason is try accept or in or count among these three try accept is highly recommended because if a error is coming then only accept block is going to execute i never going to check directly is it there or not and so on that's why so try accept is highly recommended performance wise if you don't want to use a try accept better to go for in in is an operator are getting language level concept operators uh, more performance count is a method api method that's why performance wise not good clear prudvi are you able to understand so first priority is always what try accept if you don't want in operator if you don't want count is the method now uh, i want to remove second time yes i covered already remove of index element yeah devendra kumar let me cross check is, is it there or not just uh, let me complete first okay now now what is about my next method is yes sir first method we are covering remove method already we discussed it, sir next one what is the very important dangerous method sir pop pop is the method sir so what is the what is the purpose of pop pop very simple to pop we are not going to pass any argument any argument sir pop is always going to remove last element from the list is always going to remove last element from the list last last element from the list is always going to remove sir and returns that last element pop method is always going to remove last element from the list and it returns that element that's all sir okay that is the purpose of pop so it returned that removed element sir next if the list is empty then we will get error i'm sure sir index error index error like we are going to get but if the if the specified element is not available in the case of remove if the specified element is not available in the case of remove then automatically we are going to get the value error but in the case of pop if the list is empty then we are going to get the error remember that of course i will show that right okay now here just uh, let me let me cross check don't worry about that i will i will cover all those things so some people are having the doubts still okay here just uh, have a look once print uh, l dot pop l dot pop can you please tell can you please tell which element uh, by default will be removed uh, which element uh, by default will be removed sir okay last element remove the last element and the returns that last element remove the last element and the returns that last element sir okay that thing is going to be happen legend <coughs> legend that legend legend that what is the output by default you are going to get sir sir 40 40 itself is going to you are going to get sir okay because that is the last element now if you print if you print l what is the output please respond if you print l what is the output by default we are going to get now so the output is nothing but do you know 10 20 30 because already 40 gone already already 40 gone that's why that is the important thing what you people should be aware sir suppose i'm asking l dot pop sir l dot pop l dot pop l dot pop sir how many elements are removed sir first time 40 next time 30 next time 20 next time 10 all elements were default removed sir now if i print l what is the empty empty 40 30 20 10 removed uh, empty like this sir let me use one more time <laughs> let me use one more time sir empty sir empty sir how you how it is uh, empty empty how you can remove now abja what what is the problem after removing the index error pop from empty list take a bit very special care about about this terminology sir okay so this is the difference between okay remove method and the uh, pop remove method and the pop can you please tell what is the remove remove method to remove the specified element pop method to remove the last element from the list sir remove method just to remove the specified element it won't return that element but pop method remove and returns that element correct right sir next time is it follow last in first out order yes yes last in first out order if you are always keep on using pop pop if you are using do you know sometimes uh, array list list concept can be used uh, to implement stacks and queues 
to implement stacks and the queues. In that particular cases, this pop method is going to be helpful. Okay, like clear. Next, one more important point I have to tell. In general, we can use append and the pop functions to implement the stack data structure by using a list. Sir, do you know last stack follows? What is that order? Anyone aware in the normal data structures concept? Last in, first out. Correct or not? Last in, first out order stack follows. Append method is always going to perform last insertion, last insertion or not? Last insertion is always going to. Pop is always going to perform, do you know, sir, last insertion first removal. Last inserted element first removal. That's why by using append and pop methods in Python, if you want to implement stack concept, then happily we can use a list under the corresponding methods, right? Make sure you should aware. Clear? Next. So, do you, do you know? It's a keep on asking. Almost around a minimum minimum five members ask this doubt, sir. Sir, I want to remove the element present yet fourth index. I want to remove the element present at fourth index, fifth index, and so on. How you can able to do that, sir? Remember the sir, we can remove the element specified based on the specified index also. Very simple, sir. L dot pop off l dot pop off index you can specify so remove the element present yet specified index then automatically the particular element by default will be removed sir if the specified index is not available then obviously you are going to get index error yes how many people ask this question yes how to remove specified index prithvi chaudhary srivani like a clear right what is the method what the method we have is nothing but like this so what is the way remember that sir okay let me let me check that sir i want to remove i want to remove sir at the second second index can you please tell what is the second index element i mean second index element which element sir 10 20 30 30 by default 30 will be removed sir 30 by default will be removed sir observe that 30 gone 10 20 40 so by default, pop is always going to remove last element. If you don't want last element, you can specify index as well. By default, it will be removed. I don't know index. I want to remove the value. Then remove remove method you can able to use. Suppose I'm talking about L dot pop of 12. 12, 12 index is not available. Then immediately index error, pop index out of range. Immediately index error, by default, you are going to get pop index out of range. Clear, right? Any doubt? Okay. That's all. Sir, can I delete the list? Can I delete the list means del L, del L automatically L itself by default will be gone. Next, uh, to remove group of elements, I don't think, man. I don't think. We require to write the code. Maybe in Java, we have remove all, remove all such a type of thing is there. Okay, like, but here clear something is available. Don't worry, I will discuss. But uh, remove a particular group of elements, I don't think. Okay, that's all. Clear? So, if any person is asking, what is the difference between remove function and the pop function? Are you in a position to answer? Remove function and the pop function. Are you in a position to answer, right? Remove function always going to remove the specified element. Pop function by default is going to remove last element and the returns of that element after removal. Next, the pop function can also be used to remove the element present at specified index. If the specified index is not available, then we will get the index error. That's all, sir. Sir, do you know, somewhere I covered, list is dynamic data structure. Dynamic, dynamic. Correct or not? List is dynamic. What's the meaning of dynamic, sir? Based on our requirement, you can increase the size, you can decrease the size. Correct or not? You can increase or you can decrease. Okay, dynamic, dynamic. This is not dynamically typed. Growable, are you getting growable like a growable like nature? Growable nature is nothing but like based on our requirement, based on our requirement, you can increase based on our requirement, you can increase or you can decrease. No problem, you can decrease the size, right? Sir, observe that here append method, append method, next and after that insert method, append method, insert method, and append insert. What is the, what is the next terminology, sir? Append method, insert method, next extend method. These are three methods uh, for global nature. I mean, increasing the size. 
correct right increase in the size if you want to add some element if you want to insert an element if you want to extend the, the list by with some more elements is nothing but increasing to increase the size of these methods next turn after the remove method next turn after that pop method sir meant up to decrease the size because you are going to remove the elements right to decrease the size for that purpose we are going to use pop pop is a method right clear that's all so these are various important methods present inside okay list sir next these for manipulations are getting manipulation the list next i want to talk about some methods related to pop some methods are related to ordering ordering right ordering elements of list ordering elements of list remember that ordering elements of list sir what are various methods are there for the first one sir reverse reverse is the method the name itself indicates reverse reverse method is there to reverse order of elements of the list sir to reverse order of elements of the list what is the way very simple very very simple sir to reverse sir 10 20 30 40 is there just l dot reverse l dot reverse all elements present inside l order will be reversed sir so order will be reversed now if you print l 40 30 20 10 by default we are going to get because it's already mutable changeable no problem 40 30 20 10 order of elements by default will be reversed for that purpose we are going for which method reverse the function reverse method we require to use clear right clear yes yes nand kishore by using slice operator also we can able to do that by using slice operator also we can we can able to do that sir that facility is also possible okay this is the method method line next uh, second method sir sort are you getting what is the second method sir sort sort is the method sort function sir very simple if you want you can able to sort all the elements by default will be sorted all the elements by default will be will be sorted according to sir ascending order if these are the numbers sir. according to alphabetical order if these are the string objects right so in list by default insertion order is preserved sir i don't want insertion order sir all the elements can be a sort according to default natural sorting order then we should go for sort method what is the default natural sorting order sir for numbers it is a ascending order are you getting for numbers it is ascending order next up for string objects it is a descending order are you getting it is the descending order sir for numbers it is ascending order for string objects it is the descending order right remember that okay sir what is the way how you can able to do that i will i will explain with a small chota example right observe that l is equal to l is equal to sir 10 is available next 5 is available next turn after the answer uh, 0 is available next uh, 20 is available next turn after that 15 is available sir this is about my content l dot what i'm taking sir sort l dot sort sort i'm taking sir now what is the output by default we are going to get sir sir observe what is the output 0 5 10 15 20 all the elements by default will be sorted according to natural sorting order all the elements by default will be sorted according to natural sorting order right remember that clear next uh, suppose suppose if i'm taking alphabet alphabets right sir here i'm taking dog <coughs> dog or otherwise yes dog next and after that cat next and after that rat rat next and after that sir lion okay lion like this i'm taking next last one tiger i'm taking can you please a sort can you please a sort sort so according to alphabetical order by default will be sorted then first which one is going to come cat dog lion rat tiger is nothing but like alphabetical order by default is going to come in the picture are you getting so first c d l r t if first letters are matched if the first letters are matched then the second letter sorting by default is going to be happen sir remember that clear any doubt okay sir this is uh, how you can able to sort how you can able to sort sir this is something like alphabetical order this is called for the string you can't use the word ascending order descending order like uh, 
for the strings we can use the word alphabetical order srivani if it is a number you can use the word ascending descending but usually for the strings we can use the word alphabetical order like that okay now the next point sir what is the next important point i want to discuss there is one small twist there sir yes yes there is a small twist there if you want to use a sort of function compulsory the list should contain only homogeneous elements only homogeneous elements remember that if you want to use a sort of elements if you want to use sort of function the list should contain only homogeneous elements if by mistake if you are having heterogeneous elements immediately we are going to get errors observe that so you have string elements are there and you have you have string elements are there and you have numbers also there now observe that what will happen immediately less than not supported between int and str are you getting that less than not supported between int and str internally it is going to use less than operator maybe for sorting purpose right so this is you can't use you can't use right suppose if i want to take assume assume that assume that if i'm providing like this sir my output is 10 comma 20 10 comma 20 my output is 10 comma 20 and then sir this output okay assume assume that now listen if the list contain numbers and alphabet symbols numbers and alphabet symbols alphabet alphabet symbols then first numbers will be sorted after that alphabet symbols i mean strings will be sorted but this rule is applicable in python 2 sir okay remember that in python 2 list contain both numbers and strings sort sort method how it is going to work sir very simple first it will sort numbers followed by it will sort the alphabet strings are getting first it will sort numbers followed by alphabet strings clear for all operate but make sure sir but in python 3 we are not having any such type of thing okay python 3 immediately we are going to get immediately we are going to get error remember that next even if the list contain nested elements nested list also then obviously it is not going to work srivani not going to work all elements should be same type all elements should be same type remember that okay next so this is about sort but anyway at very top level just remember sir if the list contain numbers because usually if you are talking about uh, sorting means uh, assume that you should contain same elements your list contains same elements if the list contain different elements uh, you never going to talk about sorting man are all these marks can you please arrange as any order are all these uh, salaries can you please arrange as any order like uh, you have to do that okay then only you can think about sorting if for different types where is the question of sorting usually so don't worry such a type of different elements sorting is nothing but never going to come in the picture okay next uh, devendra kumar here comparable comparator customizer sorting such type of rich terminology not there in the python remember <coughs> next uh, up to this clear okay what is the next the cinema there is one small small arrangement is there sir up to certain level this is sort there is some small arrangement is there what is that arrangement is for numbers for numbers what is the default natural sorting please respond for numbers what is the default natural sorting ascending order ascending order right sir now my question is i don't want ascending order sir please please Descending order I want. Reverse of natural sorting order I want. Reverse. I want reverse, sir. Reverse. <laughs> I want reverse, sir. Then automatically, uh, Nandakishwar is immediately telling, sir, maybe R sort is the method. <laughs> okay. Maybe R sort, R sort is the method like that. Or otherwise, Prudhvi is telling, okay, sir, first sort and then reverse. Wow, wonderful, man. <laughs> first sort and then reverse. Yes, it is going to be reversed. But uh, anyway, instead of these two, instead of there directly method support is there don't worry about that l dot sort l dot sort by default this sort is always going to sort according to natural sorting order maybe alphabetical order or maybe ascending order but my requirement is hey don't sort according to alphabet i mean don't sort natural sorting i want reverse of that very simple very simple within that reverse is equal to true <laughs> are you getting what is the argument we require to pass right 
reverse is equal to true true then automatically so it will it will sort uh, according to original uh, according to reverse of original sorting order sir can you please explain with a small example right sir this is my example this is the example sir now sir l dot sort l dot sort print of l print of l what is the output by default you are going to get sir cat dog lion rat tiger like sir here i am taking reverse is equal to true i am taking what is the value sir can you can you spell out reverse is equal to true true i am taking sir now observe is the output got reverse or not are is the output got reverse or not reverse of default entry sorting order if you want happily you can use this type of facility is also there man okay some people may ask some people may ask okay i want to take reverse of false <laughs> what is the, what is the meaning of this one reverse is equal to false what is the, what is the meaning of that oh you don't reverse man don't reverse don't reverse means natural only right don't reverse means natural only cat dog and so on okay default this is what you people should aware clearly not required to keep much much explanation about uh, this terminology right okay so that's all these are the functions what we have related to the order what is the first function reverse function what is the second function sort function sort according to default natural sorting order sort according to sir according to reverse of default natural sorting order like you should aware sir okay next uh, still there are some more functions are there we require to discuss that i will i will discuss sir in the next uh, sessions right sir still one more class is required for the list concept sir <coughs> okay that's all uh, uh, nand kishore is asking the doubt sir string natural sorting order is no string natural sorting order is alphabetical order alphabetical order hero uh, nand kishore uh string natural sorting order means alphabetical order alphabetical order usually first a next b next uh, sir dot 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 z is going to come reverse of alphabetical order means first z next and after that y next and after that sir next and after that okay b next and after that a and the kishore i hope you can able to understand yeah that's all friends so this is above what is the default uh, what are various ordering related manipulation related okay next and after the how to access get information about the list length the count and then index because list these kind of things are most commonly used that's why you people should have a bit clarity about this terminology right okay that's all in the next session we will continue about that don't worry about this